There is worse news to wake up to as Rangers make their second signing of the summer. Welcome back, guys, to Big Stevie Cool here. And uh, aye, Rangers. Oscar Cortez again. It's more like a re signing, I guess. Well, I mean, it is pretty much because it's a one year loan deal with an obligation to buy in the summer of 2025. Again, I think this is absolutely the correct decision. Rangers, I think the majority of us fans would have wanted this guy back, but nowhere near would have wanted to pay the four million just to get him back because we've not we've seen a bit of him, but we've not seen enough to warrant splashing four million for me. I think this is a deal that makes sense for all sides. He obviously he stayed to rehab his en his, his, his energy. He stayed to rehab his injury, and it's looked like that this was going to happen. Um, that was kind of looked like there was a bit of a stumbling block with how much. You know, Lens were really willing to let slide with, but yeah, it's done. Capiche, Oscar Cortez back at Rangers. And yeah, it, it's smart business at the end of the day, you know. And there will be a bit of banter out there that are probably saying we're skin oh, it's another loan deal sort of thing. But see, the reality is, why would the Rangers go and spend it for four million in this guy, right? When there's no need to, you can get him for another year on loan and then bring him in. It's the, it's the correct way of doing business, man. Absolutely the correct way of doing business. And pretty much the press and the rest of what they're all feeling is yada, yada, yada. He yeah, didn't really get a chance to properly show himself here, so he's getting a chance to date this time around. And he didn't, he, he didn't really get much game time um, due to the injury. I mean, he, was, he started a few games. He, of course, he initially arrived back in the January, start of February, Six month loan with the option to buy. Now this there is a difference now. This is an obligation. We will kinda have to buy him. But at least the loan is done first. Um and of course, little than a month later is he got injured against um Kelly at Rugby Park on the twenty eighth of February. So he pretty much got just got a month at Rangers. Again, I I, I rate it Cortez, right? But I didn't see enough of him. You know, and I'm not gonna keep my blue tinted specs on and pretend that if this guy didn't get injured would have won the league because of course not right I'm not saying that but yeah he, he's a much better option than Ross McCausland he is a hundred times better than Scott Wright but yeah I don't need to say those things everybody watching this video knows those things all right he's a decent option right he's a good option and I think this guy hopefully he can get a pre-season behind him build himself up and hopefully we can definitely Enjoy some fun times. F U N. It's all about the fun next season. And uh, aye, him, him on the right. We've brought you F D N Rangers getting business done relatively early. I'm liking it. But let's keep it going. Let's not stop now. Let's keep it bloody going. We've got, of course, there is the Euros, right? Which means transfers will get a wee bit delayed during that time, I do believe. But yeah, let's get these signings in early, get a pre-season built up, let's get ourselves fired clean into those Champions League qualifiers. We're seed it, it's favourable for us, let's get that Champions League money, let's start this season on a high, let's win all our games. Come on, Rangers. Come on, if that, is, if that isn't the battle cry that needs to be worn, man, I don't know what it is, so anyway, I'm a wee bit tired, maybe it sounds like I'm a wee bit tired, but early news, you know, what's that saying about the the bird, the early bird gets the worm, that one. Well, the early Stevie gets the transfer news. That was pish, I know. Anyway, till next time, peace.